Uh, no, nobody can hear you until literally right now. Hello, everyone. Hello. No, you could hear us until now. Oh, yeah, oh, here, one me, I gotta plug back in my Xbox controller shit. Are you ready for it? Fuckhead! Wait, what's that, Travis? Not now, Dan Smith. Fuckhead! Fuckhead! That is Travis, right? That is Travis, yes. Okay, of course it is. Fuckhead! I couldn't tell if it was Travis or the Scout from TF2. Because it seems like something both would say in that kind of voice. Any particular reason why this is not responding to my button inputs? Uh, this Gmail news is so annoying. It means I have to go log into my twelve Gmail accounts I never used. What? What? Why are you bothering? I don't know. There's up? some. There's some good reasons, like mm -hmm. Google Drive stuff. Ah, uh, you might want to just migrate those. I don't know a lot of French. I only took a half a year of it. All right, what did you say, about this bitch. You might want to migrate those those uh, documents. Yeah, all I have to do is open the accounts, right? Open the accounts. Stop having them be closed. I, I'm skeptical if they're going to keep that idea or at least change the date. I feel like there's going to be a lot. They're going to at least add some extra caveats. Like the, oh, Just, Just make, change it to 2020X. Just making sure you can hear the audio, right, Joshua? I can hear the audio, yes. Awesome. It's Travis Strikes Again, no more heroes. I know. Yeah, I, think they'll, I think they'll add caveats. Like be killed. With a YouTube video thing. Accounts <laughs> with YouTube videos will not be deleted. Oh yeah, I can't even initiate co-op because we have to go get the next fucking death ball. I can't believe this truly is no more heroes. Batman is here, I guess. Travis Strikes Back. Okay, so I might back. not have remembered every single character I was supposed to voice, so do you mind reminding me when we get I to it? IDK. <laughs> Uh, I'm still uh, giving uh, my, uh, role of the tiny guy on Back of Death to Noir. Mm-hmm. Because I just Which one? One now? I think his name was Drive. Yeah, Noir is Death and you're a Drive. <laughs> Wasn't it the other way around? Oh, no, no, I'm giving Drive oh, to Noir. Oh, that, that Drive. I think Noir took okay, over drive. Death while Shelly was gone. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure which one, because I don't remember most of what, what was happening. So wait, Let's I'm go, Gene. Drive... Then, you're, right? you're, you're Wait a second. Go where exactly? To find the death balls. Is there a problem? So it ain't just like a visual novel, huh? Yes. There's no reason not to. Them's the rules. Rules are meant to be broke. Oh wow, this is a good point. Didn't they teach you that in school? <laughs> That's just common sense, even for cats. So what's your problem? School? Come on, spill your brains. This bike just won't stop. The death balls await, are passed in the wind. Mixing up, Travis. Most of this game were a Spanish game expecting a goddamn action game. So? So you don't want a bottle of text. Get it? Hold up. So what am I supposed to do? What, you worried about our meta score? You scared of gamer reviews? If that's how you feel about it, then quit! Seriously? Be cool, we just ending the series here? Just grab the plans for that big ol' three? If you're fine with that, then go ahead! The Travis Strikes Back Digest. Coffee and Donuts was an original title from the de for the Death Drive Mark II. A collaboration between Juvenile and Natsuma. Natsuma was a famous Taiwanese game creator. Juvenile was a huge fan of his SRPGs. They began the project after she sent him fan mail. Natsuma's most famous title was Eternal Organic Battle. The balance between story and gameplay was perfect. Natsuma sent over his storyline. A group of revolutionaries battle against corrupt politicians. They use smarts and guerrilla tactics to fight against the, the government. The story of the resistance. They say Man, Natsuma's I'm... brilliant story made Juvenile cry. I miss when Natsuma wasn't woke. <laughs> Anyway, I go and meet with a hardcore Natsuma fanboy. A Natsuma fanboy might have coffee and donuts. Fanboys talk, like a lot. I sat through two hours of Natsuma fanboy talk. Finally, I was able to ask about the death ball. I found out that, 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 that the Texas Bronco Donuts chain purchased coffee and donuts in an auction. 
Get a Texas Bronco like the shirt that the guy that Almeida's wearing. Yeah. Or a uh -huh. station at Texas Bronco. This me through to the owner's room. It's a really pimped out, luxurious room. Rich people that... left class. This for the Isn't that... What? Isn't this the guy from Pulp Fiction? Maybe? I don't know. The furniture is all casino. The rug is perfect. Which one? We have a toast with a scot with the, scotch. The one that looks like that. Mm. Turns out the owner knows. Left. Apparently he'd seen my assassin ranking fights on pay-per-view. He paid three a million per fight. The championship fight cost ten million. The United Assassins Association made crazy bank. So anyway, it turns out he was a fan of mine. He brings the death ball out from a hidden room. He said he wanted to make to make bad man's dream come true. What? Why does he even know that dickhead? Turns out when Batman played for the Astros, the owner had been a famous pitcher and Batman's teammate. Blew out his shoulder three seasons in and retired. He told me Batman was a great catcher. I don't give a shit. He had an amazing arm. Must have with that swing and all. Finally, the owner tells me his name. Wait, wait, Nigel he's a McAllister. A oh my fucking god. A legendary pitcher. I'm a huge McAllister fan. <laughs> yeah. Explain that. What? What is the reference here? I don't know. Like Edo. <laughs> mhm. Mm I see McAllister. Gene and I take the death ball and head home. Let's go, Gene. How was that? Nice one. Just the right amount of text. Your meta score just went up five points. For reals? I don't know. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home, Travis. Bad man's waiting. Look, the concept artist the family requires that ex those extra points to get paid. Oh, hell yeah, let's go! Heard was baseball and thought that it was just gonna be, oh, so Dr. Peace is back. What fun. <laughs> Alright, let's play a new death ball. As soon as we save the game. I Wait, did it just censor out his ass? ass? Yes. <laughs> Let's shift this boss for this game. Did you play uh, Disco Elysium? No, I still have to finish it. I want to play it. I, I haven't even touched it yet. I, 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 I own it. I want to see if I turn into a communist if I play it. <laughs> but don't you literally have to be a communist or a fascist? You don't get a ch other I don't know. Choices? Maybe. You know, here I like I like Enter the Gungeon. I'll put that one on. I assume there's it's even more options. Can actually, not put Enter the Gungeon on. Try to stop playing with your cock. Cock. <laughs> Balls, even. All right, time for coffee and donuts. Oh. All right, go up on. Obligatory much for kingdom. Here we come, Luigi. I ah! Luigi. You gotta snuff him out. You gotta choke him out. Kill him, Luigi. Kill, Kill that bastard dead. I so hope they make they make a Wario Mario movie. Well, like a Mario movie with Wario and Wario. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. This looks like it was made in No More Heroes 1. No, no it doesn't. It looked like it was made on the fucking PS1 cutscene. Mm -hmm. I see. Ah! <laughs> Don't you love Fist of the North Star? Hey, I was about to say, isn't <laughs> this just that kind of Fist of the North Star? I should watch Fist of the North Star. It's so smart. Just pretend all your games... All, all, just pretend your game is about bad games, and that way you don't have to make them look good. I don't know, this looks pretty good. Yeah, look at that texture. I'm, 
I'm confused. Look at them. Yeah, look at the texture. They look great. Uh huh. <laughs> Dude, it's Metal Gear. Devil May Cry? Coffee and donuts. Oh. There were no coffee or donuts in that footage. <laughs> From what I understand, Vampire Survivor doesn't even have vampires either. Nope. Da 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 I'm naked! <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, it's Damn, you got your clothing way faster than me. Holy shit. I know! Oh, my, it's killer is dead. Hello. Hello! Oh, ple on pleasant days like this, I was worried that something un untoward is going to happen. Well, we've come to the new game world, so let's find the boss. Yes, let's hurry up and clear the game. Oh my god, I had dialogue! Yeah, oh! you, actually, yeah you, you have dialogue <laughs> wow. in this one! You're a character! Wild. It's white sheep man. It's white sheep man, yeah. Not what quite a sheep man, but definitely white. white. white man. Oh. Ah, damn it, how did I have white sheep? I wonder how long it's been. Like, you did it like I a. Yeah. How long it's been since anyone visited this hall? You're looking for the boss of the mansion. I don't know what a boss is, but I know this mansion's master. He was known for having put an end to the brutal war. His name is Brian Buster Jr. While he's called Jr., he's actually a white-haired man around seven. Brian Buster Jr. was a man burning with vengeance. After his father was killed, he destroyed the opposing army. I heard that he's now somewhere in this mansion. I hope this information proves useful. Good luck on your way. God, oh, I, geez. Can't, I can't believe how much out of Toonami you sound when you do that voice. The store is bugged and won't open. It hurts to try and do that. I cannot go Kyle Haber for too hard. He's dead! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! The little mansion has collapsed! He's dead. Was this your doing? Oh, this is Death and Drive. <laughs> okay, so, so Shelly and Noir. Mm -hmm. Alright. When we arrived, he was already... A white-haired old man? Isn't this who we were looking for? There are no clues anywhere. How about asking him directly? Offer him coffee and donuts, his favorites. Out of sheer happiness, the spirit remaining in his body should tell you something. We're going to get those. The bugs of the forest, uh, sorry, the bugs of the desert of the forest stole them and ran off with them. They're behind one of the doors in the mansion. I'm getting a vibe from a door to the side there. Death Drive, thank you for your help. So I guess we're so gonna I... have to collect coffee and donuts then. Let's go find him. I'm here too! I mean, yeah, you are here too this time! I'm here finally! <laughs> Not Death and Drive for enemies. They, they, they saying, kind of are, but I think they, they, they just kind of gave up on killing you. I thought they were okay. just weirdos that helped you. Oh, yeah, that's that coin. Let's go to the bathroom. Oh. Toilet! Oh, this is how we save. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to shit. You can shit next. I nah. need to shit! Nah, I don't need to shit anymore. Okay. Nekomaru need I! <laughs> oh! Shit! Shit! Okay, now we can go in this door. It is no longer bugged. Time for a 2D side scroller! <laughs> I love this in our store! I wonder how much oh, money they save doing guys. a game like this. Sorry. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! They say this is the tits? Yeah! 
That's believable. Nice tag team. I love 2.5D, don't you? Oh, jeez. Wait, isn't that iso- oh wait, okay, I was saying you were talking about isometric. <laughs> oh! I don't know. What are you doing here? This is mine! You're gonna die! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh. We killed him. He's dead. Oh, there's more. There's more in here! <laughs> Oh man, we look fucking stupid. As usual. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we got coffee! Ah shit, I'm sorry. I should have meant it in the, in the Sean voice. It would have been true. It seems like defeating the bugs fixed the mansion and. We're somewhere new now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can go up here, I think. I think that I think that only opens once we've gotten all the coffee and donuts. Okay, not there yet. Whoa. Okay, nope. We just can't. We just can't do any shit upstairs. <laughs> how oh, long God. can we? How long can we go without being visible? <laughs> Right, let's get some more. Let's get the donuts. Spielberg? Like, it's like, like Steven Stephen? Spielberg. Yeah. Spielberg. Yeah. Oh, there's a giant like robotic skull in the background. That's really cool. Josh, help me kill the Spielberg. There, there we go. We got it. Has Spielberg made any recent movies? Um, uh, not to my knowledge. I think Nora probably know more about that than me. How many, which Spielberg movies are you asking about? Uh, any Maybe new recently. ones? Uh, his newest one was Ready Player One. Oh, really? That That's a while ago. Mean, I'm gonna admit. Oh no, sorry. His newest one was uh, The Fablemans. Uh, a long. Kind of decently paced, but kind of mildly depressing story about a Jewish family growing up uh, in the 30s through 50s in America. Oh no! And they all love film. Well, no. It, well, it's basically like his autobiography, though. Huh. It, it's it's like what if you tried oh, to make a slightly okay. fictionalized autobiography, and it's good, but it's not great. It's like a love letter to cinema and stuff, but like it's a lot of old boys kind of work sort of stuff it's it's very classical of the times but i mean it's also got paul dano being a creep and a nasty person as he is in almost every movie I forget I've, i'm not sure i've seen i think i've seen maybe one to two movies where paul dano doesn't get the shit beat out of him for, and usually for good reason also, apparently in 2022, he was executive producer on Gremlins, Secret of the Mogwai. There was, was an a animated... Gremlins? Yes, I'm, it was I'm, an animated TV series. More. For children, it looks like. I forgot he directed an episode of Columbo. Hmm. That was a while ago. Oh, he also did the new West Side Story. Yeah, I was gonna ask, I thought he did like a... I thought he did a remake of that. Oh yeah, wow! I, is indeed it. I forgot there was a a re like a booted Animaniac thing. How long did that go for? Did that? Uh, it's for... still going. It's uh, the problem is it's on Hulu. So good luck watching it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on Hulu. Okay, I have that. Uh, Something well, my like dad that. Had that. Is it? Yeah, Pretty it's sure it's Hulu. Oh, I should watch that then. It is a bit odd when you think about the fact that Warner Brothers that Hulu's owned by Disney. I think. No, is it owned by Disney? I have no. I don't think so. 
Oh, which one? Uh, Hulu. Uh, Hulu is in a consistent uh, partnership with Disney. Uh, I'm not sure that they are. You can are, only they, finish when you oh, watch me, Travis. Certainly have a business, a working business relationship. Bro, <laughs> he wasn't ex. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> uh, stop jumping. Hot new perspective projects that Spielberg has been yeah. looking at are uh, an adaptation of American photojournalist Lindsay Adario's memoir "It's What I Do" with Jennifer Lawrence starring. Uh, an adaptation of Black Hawk, uh, a comic book series about uh, Europeans who uh, flew planes in the war, and that's sick. that's all they do. They're just hard-hitting guys in the war, just two-fisted dudes in planes. Just two dudes uh, being buds. So, Hell uh, yeah, brother. Five to six of them. I don't remember how many. They've made Black Hawk movies before. It's just they made them Boy. in like, the these when nobody get the, cared. Get the bingus. Wait, so Noir, I need to ask, what is oh, the meaning of being an executive producer? Uh, it means you're putting the most money behind the project and therefore have a lot of creative control over it. But it depends on, like, Spielberg's usually pretty, a, a pretty open executive producer. He's going to give you a big sack of money to make your movie, but it's usually also because he respects you or you're his best friend, George Lucas. Uh, apparently, George executive oh, producer... On Halo, the TV shit series. Yeah, he'll throw his money plenty uh, oh, of things. Oh, here, we got the F-91 uh -huh. chip and the Atlas chip. Uh, let's see. Uh, in talks with Kerry Fukunaga to direct a miniseries uh, for HBO oh, about the the chip. Napoleon. Man, I would love it if they decided to just kind of throw the current new trilogy out the window and just give Spielberg another Star Wars, like a Star also, Wars here, shot. Let's level you up, too. I don't think he's ever... At Made I any particular no control for you? Hold himself. on a second. Can you like? Can you customize your shit, Joshy? Oh, you can customize my shit. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. No, that's right. That's how it works. Let me rephrase. Give it to Spielberg, and he says yes. Yeah. Let's see. Which one do you want? Uh, there's the F91. You want a dash? No a dash. You get the dash. Uh, a film about the kidnapping of Edgardo no, 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 Mortora. Uh, destroy chip. A six-year-old boy who lived in the Papal States in the 1800s and was basically kidnapped by the church uh, and baptized against his will. Huh. The, the, the Catholic Church just used to kidnap people. It turns out Pope Pius IX, not a great guy. He's uh, He was also the Pope during the war. Oh, God. And, uh, oh, and out as oh he's the one that shook hands with Hitler? And it's probably as bad, if not worse, than you think. Uh, during a virtual conversation with Indian filmmaker S.S. Rajamuli, who you may remember from RRR, uh, he oh. said that he might make a sequel to The Fablemans, but I don't know, Moon, maybe. Got donuts. How about asking him directly? Offer him coffee and donuts his favorite. Out of sheer happiness, the spirit remaining in his body tells something. Blech. I can dash now, Travis! Good job. That's that's where that's the desert that we came from. Uh! Alright. Death drive. I've brought coffee and donuts. Please place them beside the body. Okay. That's how I did it. I had to remember. Oh. Who wants to be Brian Buster Jr.? Until I get my revenge, I have... Oh, that scent. Now he is able to rest in peace. The bugs of this world have been fixed just a little bit. He's able to go peacefully, but we don't know the cause of his death. If the bugs have been fixed, then some of the bugs sealing off the mansion should be gone now. Let's check another floor. I like the idea of like minor villains becoming your bros later on. Mm. Do you like JoJo Just Part like 4? He's dead again! Oh my <laughs> god! JoJo Part 4. Oh my gosh, thank you, Brian. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Please stay on. calm. Seems a good amount of time has passed since death. No! It wasn't... It wasn't there a second ago! Well, the principle is simple. Let's go find some coffee and donuts. Well, before we go upstairs, there was actually another door that we hadn't checked over here. One or two. Yeah, Josuke's... That's basically jo Josuke's real power. Just being able to turn enemies into friends. Alright, we got the LBs. Let's go. I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog, Travis! I Don't dash! Let's see if I'm the crazy diamond. Oh. oh! What the fuck? Huh? Oh, wait. Oh! I was I was holding down the X button while we were walking by that door. <laughs> Whoopsies. Alright. Just be careful not to- Oh, you literally can't step on his body. Wait, can I? Hold on a second. No, you can't step on his body. It's... That's probably a Japanese culture taboo. I don't know. They probably well, just didn't. Want maybe to it's not worth around. programming it. I think it's yeah. generally taboo in most cultures to step on a dead body. Mm -hmm. it well, just, that's it's true. It's just easier like, to make a. When the, with the Japanese like culture things, they literally forbid it. Well, it I mean, goes like, against uh, like... the Japanese concept of. Not being a shithead. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, uh, Shelly, Shelly, I think you're looking too deep into this. I think they just didn't want to have you, like... I think, uh, it, I think, I think they keep point was, uh, it's nasty to step on a dead body. What with the gases and all. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's just There's not some really... Some probably some shit in there involved. Uh, like, one I mean, time I stepped on this body, and it just farted. <laughs> like, otherwise you're just having legs clipped through the body. Like, you might as well just put a barrier. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Corpses are actually just giant whoopee cushions. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just Learned watched uh, Swiss Army, right? man. We think we've learned that. Newville bug? <laughs> Not that rogue. Neon white. <laughs> hey, I keep on hearing the dialogue in Neon white is cringe. Is that It's a true? little bit cringe. It's great. It's actually fantastic. I fucking love- and I, I, I ironically really liked it. It's okay, just just let me run off the screen. There you go. Oh, we can't even go through here anyway. I've also learned oh, the wait, type oh, you're of- Oh, turn this off, that's why. I also learned the type of music that Toonami used. Apparently they're called Breakbeats. Ah! It was this game that came out, or coming out, I'm not sure if it is out, called Severed Seal. Yeah. And its soundtrack sounds exactly like it's out of Toonami. Yeah, Severed Seal's been out for a hot minute. Yeah, I asked the dev on, I mean, the music guy on his YouTube channel, like, what his inspirations were. And apparently, Toonami was one of them. I need to get it back up! Watch me, Travis! Alright, well, I'm, I'm watching. There you oh, go. I wasn't there. I did that voice just instinctively, holy shit. I'm gonna go randomly go into like a my fucking Steve Bloom impression randomly. You have a Steve Bloom impression? That's, what, you... that's my attempt at a Steve Bloom. Oh. Quit trying to butter up the gamers! Wait, is Steve Bloom the one voicing this character? Yeah, he voices, yeah. Batman. He voices uh, Batman. Oh, okay. Like, whenever I think of Steve Bloom voice, I, it just goes to Tom the Robot and the uh, Cowboy Bebop Man, Spike. That's it's weird, because those are his least gruff voices. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think those are the voices he does the most, doesn't he? Doesn't he usually do, like, the smooth talk No, he voice? usually does his gruff voice a lot of the time. Mm. Was he Mugen? Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, was Mugen. He, he was indeed Mugen. Yeah, that was another one of the Steve Bloom voices I think of as the, the Steve fuck? Bloom voice. Yeah, because it's- stuck! Josh, use your dash ability. There you go. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know any of the gruff rolls he has. Uh... Josh, a quick get a jack off. 
Probably a oh, billion, that's so great! Probably a billion One Piece characters. Actually, no. He's done in One Piece, actually. I, I would be shocked if he hasn't. Actually, no, he probably he hasn't. hasn't. The first the first thing I ever Let's heard him see. in was, was Tank Dempsey. Uh, <laughs> Call of Duty's up! Ah! He's an American hero, or, uh, Justin. Hell yeah. So oh, goodness. Damn, these fucking drill dudes just do shit tons of damage. Oh my god. That reminds me, what? I want to play Shino Numa again. Look this! But it's like, should I play the original World at War version, the Black Ops 3 version, or the Vanguard version? Uh, whichever one is active, probably. And if not, then whichever one is just, you know, have better access to. I, I think as far as I can find, Steve Bloom has not played someone in One Piece, which is shocking because basically everyone under the sun and also nobody that you have ever heard of is also in One Piece. And also, Steve Bloom sounds like he would he would have a voice for every One Piece character. Oh, maybe not. Well, there's a lot of women in One Piece. So I mean, I, I must imagine when like the actual like English dub by Funimation started rolling in, uh, it was during that era where Steve Bloom was kind of being more high bill. Yeah, but like, also like there, there's, there's a point where like if you're getting Steve Bloom, you're getting, you're getting him like top, you're getting top billing. I mean, he was the host on Tsunami. I, I feel like he would probably want to be in One Piece. I think I'm not sure that it is a question of if he was interested or not, or if he is expensive or not comparatively, because One Piece also is the best-selling manga of all time so far, and also is. It seems has like blah, 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 I've said this before. Not here. Travis, do you know the definition of insanity? No. To me, I don't either. To me, insanity is just normal. Oh man, I love normal bread. I also love normal bread. <laughs> <laughs> now you gotta smoke this extra pen, Travis. Hold on. <laughs> oh, let me hit my big pen up. <laughs> Helps with my anxiety. <laughs> Oh, like, that's not the jerk off button. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, uh, what is it? Like, they're, like. I I don't see, like, Steve. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Just, you know. No! <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Why did it swap me here? Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm dead. There we go. I gotta jerk off. Hold on. Watch me. Ah. You wanna see me? You want me to see not press the jump button? Want to see me do it again? Job. Yeah, good job. Oh, well, ah. now I have to press the jump button. Hey, donuts. Alright, Steve Bloom not done anime for a bit. Apparently, like I was seeing a thing saying that he hasn't done anime for a bit, but that was from 2018. I mean, I don't know. Check his recent shit. He did. He was in Pro Mare. I cannot find any particular reason why Steve Bloom isn't in One Piece or was not asked to be in One Piece at any point. Maybe he just didn't try out for it. Yeah, or he wasn't asked. I mean, who wouldn't want to? He was uh, probably more yeah, busy. There, probably there could busy be like, him, so. yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. It seems like most of his stuff right now is just video games. Anyway, well, maybe he just sure also anime does. doesn't pay well. Oh. Uh, so I've heard. I'm not sure if this is fan theory or real, but is Travis just like hanging out in the woods and ignoring his wife and son? Pretty much, yeah. He wanted to just get away from everything. He is exceptionally doing that and only occasionally realizing that that might be a stupid or harmful idea. 
Oh, apparently... Oh, because he's an idiot. Apparently, uh... Steve Bloom was Doc McStuffins from a children's cartoon. So I don't think he has issue with any issue with doing okay, one now, piece. Now that definitely isn't true, because I know that Doc McStuffins is a girl. And no, he plays, he plays Yeti, Papa Bear, and Commander Crush. Oh yeah, no, he'll be in any damn thing. Yeah, just wait here that, for a that, second. That's the confusing part. Also, he apparently has a Guinness World Record for being the most prolific video game voice actor, with 261 as of May 2012. Uh, oh. <laughs> but also, the Guinness World Records are bullshit, so who knows? He also was Attila in Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure. Like Attila the Hun? Wait, uh, what? I assume, like, it's a cartoon for children, but it's like a story, you know. I mean, you can have Attila the Hun show up in Tangled, like, as long as he doesn't or anyone. Like, look at Milan that had the Huns. Even though they were mm. Mongolians, but they had the Huns. Mm. They had to get down to business. They were part of that wacky Hun Mongolian tribe called the Huns. No relation to the Eastern European steppes. Oh, we're not allowed to use uh, shit while we're in here. You're That's not allowed to use shit. You'll have to use piss instead. Oh, you was dragging like Tom and here. Jerry. AC, AC couldn't leave down the chance to talk about peace. Although being called Huns, this is a mi historical misconception. The Shang Yu were tribal raiders that attacked China during the age of Mulan, but the Huns didn't exist then, as the Shang Yu uh, and never attacked China. This misconception comes from the fact that both Huns and the Shang Nu originated from the Eurasian steppe and have similar cultures and militaries. Oh. Uh, I this thought is that really his name, Shan Yu, uh, which is not, which is a Shang Nu name, uh, and I'm because go to he Travis. himself the Khan. No. It's all probably because white people don't know who the Shang Nu are, and Huns are easier to say. Here, coffee and donuts. May you rest in peace. More like piss! <laughs> Also, the real puns were more than fine with letting women be soldiers. Huh. I don't want to Base die. Huns. Continue? Donuts. So sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, Dead Island 2 came out, didn't it? Oh, yeah. What was that about to continue? I don't know, but I assume it's time to continue doing something. And their bugs disappeared. Let's keep going. Dead Island 2 came out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah! I like quirky. it? Nah. I haven't played it. Apparently it's quirky. Kind of dead. I heard it's... Alright. Man, what a thing to come out. Something that was, like, mythological comes out. Alright, cool. We'll never think about it again. You know what? At least it does. It doesn't go down as a Dukem Nukem Forever. A Dukey Nukey. Oh, at Dukey least Duke Nukem Nukey. Forever is remembered. I uh, just want Half Life Three to come out before I die. No, that Maybe. shit's never coming out. Yeah, Good hey, luck. Alex happened. I mean, Alex came out. And that has a cliffhanger for Half Life Three. Yeah, they gotta stop it, doing that. Doesn't literally every Half Life game end with a cliffhanger? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the but yeah, but the thing is, the prior ones came out. Well, yeah, and how long was it between them? Not as long as Half-Life 3. Wait a Although minute. technically, I guess you reset oh. the clock, so it's only been like three years since Alex. I did not realize that Naruto was a that a dead Naruto bodies! Two of them! What is this murder mansion? If no, that's a process three. If death or made a mystery, you need to find coffee that's and donuts. That's much different game. Well, okay. Wait, okay. what about Orochimaru? Uh, he's Steve Orochimaru. Blue. Yeah, he's Orochimaru. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this. I didn't watch enough- I guess I didn't watch enough Naruto. You- you're clearly not. I was reading it. How long- how oh, old were you when Naruto came out? Uh, let in, me find out in Naruto English? came out. In English? Good question. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, 
Hey, Roman. Roman! Wait, why does this go back to this? Alright, what kind of Robin's gonna be? The doggy must. You doggy must. One of the censored scenes was the accidental kiss between Naruto and Sasuke, fitting in the long trend of removing content that alludes to homosexuality. I love that episode 3. Maybe Ta one? Taiwan Ramen, a quirky Nagoya specialty. The chicken-based broth and spices pack a nice punch. Really? That was censored? Because I, I remember seeing that in whenever it aired. Wait, you no, do? yeah, I remember that. I saw that. Like soccer yeah, two boys man, kiss right? region or something. I don't know exactly what it means. There is a reference for it. Maybe it's a different country. I. It also they also might mean in the on the DVDs. Mm. Yeah, because I remember seeing that and being like, um, oh. let's see. It, was, it, was, uh, it started airing in 2005, which means I would have been 15. Oh wow, I was like a yes. child. Yes. In the middle elevator. It's like you're younger than me, it turns out. I actually have no idea how old you are. Thunk it. it is a mystery lost to time. Unless you calculate any of the numbers I just threw out whatsoever. <laughs> it's a mystery that's exceptionally easy to no, solve. I don't I don't want to do math. <laughs> let's just go this right. Too hard. <laughs> well, why do right, math when left. you can read Song of, song of Beagle Saurus? A wackadoo this match. This door's bugged, it won't open! What fucking door isn't bugged in this fucking mansion? Back what back. a mansion! It's like a maniac mansion in here. Oh my god. Wake Apparently up! I was Bro, I can't get past these bodies. <laughs> okay, but like, no, actually, what fucking door isn't bugged? Okay, here we go. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Wait, haven't we been here before? No, this is new. We haven't been on the third we haven't done a level on the third floor yet. Ah, here we go, it's Midman. Deep man, purple. <laughs> what if it was purple? Oh, I did. So These things look like I gone. So, you let the aroma of coffee lead you right into this trap. You will die here. You'll never get the forbidden coffee. I'm here too! These things look like such... They look Steven like default Morrison. model... They look like default models stacked on top of each other. It's okay. great. I can see that. I mean, they're literally called generic sheep men, right? Hmm. Uh, did you see that man finally got released for guilty again? Yeah, well, not released, but officially announced. Ah. Uh, really, he's in a week. I know, I, ve I know very little about this character other than he's that man. No, he's bad man. Oh, I put a bomb on you, Joshi. <laughs> Destroyed. Jaku coffee. All right, now we just need the donuts. I bet some bugs got cleared in the mansion. Let's go somewhere new. Up the elevator. <laughs> so wait, is it implied that in this game there's just bugs inside the game that clearing it gets rid of them? Yep. <laughs> So that's like intended gameplay of this yes. fake video game. It's the energetic bugginess. The, the whole thing is that they have been isekai'd into a video game. This game. Yeah, was I know, but I'm saying that like it's not that the the game is messed up. It's that it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to look like that on purpose. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, this place is nice. Whoa. Dang, I'm gonna do vibes. Got up. Am I wrong? A little bit. Only a little Wait, bit. Wait, what's Dang and Rapa about this? Like, I don't know, the perspective and, like, the background reminds me of it. The background? I thought, yeah. I thought you were the constantly changing uh, areas that are all completely connected, though. 
that regardless too. of how disconnected like, they appear to be. Like, and the king. Okay, and this looks like more Danganronpa. This like, looks like okay, yeah. let's go. Oh, you, you gotta you gotta tap on the you gotta tap as you're jumping to get higher. Can you hold it? Oh, that might be a problem. Oh, Timing might be a problem for Wait. you. Can you not hold the button? Oh yeah, you can hold. You can hold. You can hold. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem hold with no, me. Hold oh. A, Joshy. Hold A. Oh, camera fun. Nice. Nailed it. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah there we go. Here we go. Yeah, oh, oh, you can body block? Oh, that's, oh my god. That's great. This, this is ten a, there of ten. Go. Force progression. You can body blank. Big whiz. Oh, how cool this guy is. Look at him. Is he doing the, is he doing the fucking Eddie it's, Gordo shit? He's doing Capoeira? He looks like, he looks like a fucking Disco Elysium character. In movement. Truly ahead of its time. That was a cool cross slash. That was neat. Alright, he's dead. Let's go. Gotta jerk off. I'm not even supposed to be here. Oh, oh! Jackal. Joshy, no! We know we gotta kill them! Listen, I got I got input away. Oh god damn it! Can this donut please move? <laughs> oh wow! It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about what happens when it, when someone is be below it when he jumps down. It's fine. Okay, just just stay on that just stay on that donut, Joshy. Why would you do that, Joshy? <laughs> What did you think would happen? I... It's hard to control, okay? He's not entirely wrong. Why did they put you all the way back there? But well, why not, really? Wow! Game right, good. Here, hold on. Heal. Just keep bouncing. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, no. did, he go, did he fucking hit the wheel? Hit the wall? What the fuck? Oh my god! Good game. Oh shit! Good video game. Why is this 3D? It's a. You know. You know what the problem is. The problem is it's made in Unreal. This would not have happened in Unity. <laughs> okay, this Joshi. Is, this let's is, hold still this for one second. <laughs> Where okay. things are at an active detriment when there are two players. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how they balance for the two-player co-op experience. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, it's okay, I got it. Eh? <laughs> uh -huh. Josh, we know! Why did it take Wait, us both? <laughs> okay, maybe don't like rush forward. Back. Maybe <laughs> stop rushing forward. Let the other guy also come forward. Don't you want to get that coin though? No. Okay, I got the <laughs> coin. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Alright, again? <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Try to save time. Waste all the time. You're doing it, you're platforming. Done! You did okay, it. There we go. <laughs> you missed a coin though, you have to go Try back. You miss it, you have to go back. <laughs> cool, I'm gonna blow, you're gonna die. It's bug gates. Good, good idea. Use the dashing moves now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we're, we are oh, stuck in walls? this arena. We can't move. Yeah. Oh. 
The lighting effect doesn't go over Travis's glasses. Get the donut! No. Strawberry donuts. You got, the don you got donuts. Nice. Strawberry donuts sounds good. Shit. Scott, go feed him coffee and go off donuts! And donuts! No, yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's give him the donuts. Whoops. Do you have to account for both bodies? Here, coffee and donuts. Please rest in peace. Yo, I'm here! Oh, it only got rid of one of the bodies. <laughs> the world is... The bugs. It's time to... Let it end. I'll eat them all. Okay. Why not? Let it end. Is he talking about his revenge? I have a bad feeling about this. There's still one body and left. Left. Let's go find get the coffee and donuts. Coffee and donut. It's got on the middle way. So he's gonna eat the bugs. This music's very twerkable. Okay, not that that's, one yet. Maybe that's the pretty other one. soy of him. <laughs> are you twerking right now, Joshy? What? Trying Why to. Why are these doors bugged? <laughs> Why not? Is 404 open? I'm the only one in the server who can throw it back. Been, we've already been in 404. You don't know that. That, that is almost it's certainly incorrect. Well, no, not me. I have no idea, but B is here, is in the server. Wait, did we do a 4 or 5 already? No, we didn't. This is new. Get out my swamp! Oh, boy, won't that Do you scramble? No, oh, boy. Yay. And this time we're both spawning on different ones. No, the coin, the we coin! The coin. Uh, we we're, we're not gonna coin. miss 10 LBs, Joshy! <laughs> no, it, 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 it was on the ground. It wasn't even it's going to be that. It bounced. Squid. Very happy, Randy. Yes, thank you, Joshy. <laughs> oh my god, this is a nightmare. DIE! <laughs> it is! <laughs> Dude, can you jump on me? You can jump on each other! And it cancels our attacks, too! I think the problem is our hitboxes are so fucky that it's really- it's actually kind of impossible to get like a solid landing on one or the other. They it's really just, wanted yeah, just a better version of DBZ sagas. They really wanted these sort of like side scrolling platform thing and they did not care that they didn't work well. <laughs> I need to get it back up. Coffee and donuts! <laughs> Fortunately this is the only one like this. I mean this level, not this particular uh, <laughs> part of the level. The, co the coin! Okay, thank you. Well, <laughs> I think we're both just kind of in the part of we need to finish this level now. No, you need to get all the coins. You better go back and replay that bit for you missed the coin earlier. <laughs> no! Alright, we're not real gamers here at the Gamer Boy channel. Make of course, gamer. I have a girlfriend. I can't, I can't be a gamer anymore. I can fix that, Joshy. You're not gonna act. <laughs> I can make you a gamer. <laughs> Hold on a second. Do we have to like go under or something? No, there's a bit to the left. No, like to the top. This... No, no, to the left. To the left. The left. There's platform the to, to the left. Can we? The oh lid. yeah, that's. Right. Oh my you're god. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. To your left! No, this is how we got no, you're here! Okay. So, no, no, there's a the beat to the top the, left! The confusion is that this is how we got here. We didn't know that the, 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 the fucking tunnel was gonna extend up. Also, there's stuff behind that You could that see the platform. Wall. You could see the platform earlier. Anyways, I can get that coin. Yeah, they they jump the wall. If only Never you had two players. If oh, yeah. only you had two players so that one can hit the shield while the other one goes behind him. <laughs> no, like it doesn't work. It auto focuses on the person who's attacking him most recently. 
Like you actually but did I think it forces. She no, I, 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 I saw I saw one of you hit him while his shield was up because he hit the back. All right, I think the I think the donut's extended. Donut extend extinction 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 extension. More like extinction. Donut extension. I mean, you've been jumping on these donuts. They're not gonna smell good at any point. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, I love video games. You're body blocking me. Mm. Well, honestly, don't, don't like portal. Okay, good. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Damn, Damn. Damn. <laughs> perfect video game. This is exactly how Suda wanted it to be. Oh, this might be a problem. <laughs> oh boy! Oh, it did, oh, did it? Oh, it did, did it! Did Yo! It, did it, yeah. Yeah. it took him a minute. literally walk around that wall. <laughs> it's not actually blocking anything. No, we're constricted by the rules of the video game. We can't do that. They didn't program in all the third No, she stopped dashing! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I like Careful dashing. Lasers. Save it for when you're not picking- not platforming in fucking Stop dangerous Stop dashing in hides. the streets and dash into the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what about the donuts to the left? That's fine. The left. <laughs> the left. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. What? <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, and has Tekka Stone. Good job. Oh. Nailed it. Nice. Oh my god. How did we oh even fucking get here? Where? <laughs> Where the fuck? Were you here before? What is this? Okay. Wait, whoa! Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> nice! Nice! Dude, truly, co op was the problem. <laughs> Just, just gonna take you out of it for like a minute, Joshy. Don't worry. What the fuck? We can drop. I'll drop you bet right back in. It's the action. It's just for the platforming. It's Your existence inconveniences me. Disappear. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you got a secret? Maybe. I don't know. Now add me back. <laughs> there, you're back. Didn't you level up? Yeah, we should probably level up here. Right, let's see, I did it Just last time. Just level up your jumping. Joshi! <laughs> did it itself! I just respawned! <laughs> well, we can't do it without the platforming, so there you go! <laughs> no, I couldn't just fucking... <laughs> oh look, you did it without the platforming. Oh my god, it checkpointed go. us here, you son of a bitch! <sighs> okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're going down, you're gonna die. Coffee. There we go. Uchunyari. Uchunyari. What does this mean? I don't know. I know Uchu means space. Hold on a second. What was that in word? Nyari. I mean Nyari. Wait, you, wait. N -Y -A or N -I? Oh, with the in with the tilde on it. Like how oh, can you? Then that's you? definitely oh, Nyari. Here we are. Uchinyari coffee is uh, the coffee that you get out of the civet butt. It's, I it's I know the what it's, uh, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. You, you do, this isn't civet coffee. Uh, this is slightly different. Uh, Uchinyari coffee is made by feeding coffee beans to the Kawati, a small... Uh, lo it's somewhere between like... Is that the shit coffee? It's one of them. It it's oh. not the famous shit coffee. It's okay, the other the shit coffee. Okay. Uh, yeah, and basically uh, it just uh, processes the beans uh, in their shit. Uh, that uh, they can turn into something better. Uh, this is similar to the Indonesian poop coffee known as Kopi Luwak, which is a lot more expensive <laughs> and is made with civets. What a beautiful culture. Did we? we yeah, we, we were body, body, body blocking each other for it's a second. Incredibly <laughs> expensive. No, didn't, weren't we just here? No, no, did new area, new area. Oh, I'm sorry. Coins what, everything. We can tell that there it's not a new area because of all the coins. Pocketo no Coween. Sorita, you want to be my friend. Alright, Joshi. Okay. Wait. Jump. 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 So you guys just gotta do it in sequence, that's Jump. all. Just don't do it at the same time. I'm sorry, we noticed you were trying to brute force these. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the coin! There, I got it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here, I gotta, I gotta heal. I have no fucking health. Look at how look at how the fucking glasses are in the wrong lighting glare. So the, the fuck... It's cool. Incredible gameplay. Incredible. No, 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 I love the implication that a bat, a baseball is completely useless as a weapon unless you jerk it off. No, he has to drink beer. Are you saying you yeah, haven't like he's tried? Chugging, yeah, like he's chugging a beer. I'm underneath it! Ah, like oh, now it makes sense. He's shaking a beer and then chugging it to get more power. A baseball bat is completely useless as a weapon unless you drink beer beforehand. Ch see, he's drinking a Bud Light, so it has the big gay power in it. <laughs> I'm a crippling alcoholic! Oh god, yeah, no! The official beer of the LGBTQ. Why do I get sent back? I know, right? <laughs> look at that really tree in the left. Like, God yeah, damn. Look at that, look at that, Incredible. Like, Love that Switch texture. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch. Look at these warbling branches that are connected to nothing. <laughs> Not only are they connected, they're, 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 they're just textures. They don't have a model. They're 2D. Like, they're literally sheets. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Can you jump on that branch? How about you don't try? Wait, hold on a second. There might be, there might be a chip over there. We should probably go over there. Never mind, there's nothing over there. There's nothing. There's nothing. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. What the Catapulted. fuck? Catapulted. Careful. Holy bro, shit. Bro, stop Speed doing stuff. Stop doing stuff. <laughs> Alright, get on the donut. Speed get on the donut. Tech. Never mind. There's, there's nothing out there. There's nothing out there. It's just a straight branch. Yeah, but what if there's... Oh, no. Yeah? Or I shouldn't that? be driving this car. I should be. 
Oh, Travis, this game is so boring. I wish I had a car to make it more interesting. Aren't you drinking like it's some beer in a there. day? <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah, brother! Drink and driving. We hear uh, uh, the the uh, uh, gaming you Twitch streamer people do not support uh, <laughs> Badman's decision to uh, drink and drive. Pick for yourself. Apparently, we're now prudes. <laughs> All your needs will be met. I'm hungry in a minute. Why is the fucking camera extending out like this? Why, why are we looking at this dilapidated forest? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, we can't go that way. No, get that branch. Oh, Fuck. I see. It's because we're doing another fucking jumping puzzle. Man, I bet I, they were so impressed when the developer they got that day showed up. And just look, well, look what I can no, do. No, I made no, the camera no. extend. I made the camera zoom out in this bit. Whoa. Clap. <laughs> no part of that made sense. <laughs> I, it looks like they, they, they're, they're so proud. They look like they're proud of the fact that they can zoom out. Oh, God damn it! Why does it go all the way back? That makes no sense. Thank you very much, child. Nah, you're just not allowed to. You want to do that? <laughs> Joshi, <laughs> Joshi, stop! <laughs> Joshi, listen, I'm telling you, if you if you die from fall damage, <laughs> I need you to stay dead while I do the puzzle. <laughs> Not now, Rex! <laughs> Come on. Have you ever tried doing a platform resection with input delay? I know, oh. right? <laughs> God damn it, I wouldn't need the fart sound effect. Shit. <laughs> All right, we did it. No. <laughs> no! Okay, wait, hold on a second. This is just an auto scroll. Reach at the stand still and not die. Don't fall off. Josh! Nice. <laughs> you didn't even need to move! I, I yeah, pressed Y! Like... That was an accident! <laughs> So you come here often? <laughs> oh no! Oh no, we gotta hurry! Okay. Bro, you're just wasting your charge. Maybe I wanna jerk off. I knew this would happen. Oh my god! It... Oh, they, they are so proud of how the platform goes back to the start when someone dies. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, now, we... now we just need to wait here again. They're not even aiming at you anymore. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> they reset. <laughs> Immaculate okay, video game. There you go. This game was made perfectly without any flaws. Pseudo-51's creative masterstroke. <laughs> he Similar to, master he was stroke. Already, Similar you know what to I mean. Travis's masterstrokes. <laughs> oh, goddammit. He be stroking. Oh, no! <laughs> okay. Alright. You know what? Hold on. No! <laughs> 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 Joshy, please get thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now to be fair, that was that guy's fault, not yours. I, I blame him. You. Coffee and donuts. I'm gonna be the next Hokage. <laughs> oh Whoa! God, please don't play anything. I might have copyrighted material. <laughs> I'm just glad they stopped shooting at us. The actual show? They feel bad for you. 
Well, no, the the song, the the track of Naruto is copyrighted. Is it? I possibly know that. Yeah, and like most like most OSTs for shows and shit are copyrighted. Yes. Yes. Uh, th the the music you hear specifically and only on that show is probably copywritten by the show or the uh, company that makes that I, show. I, I yes. No, don't fucking get those. Comments. You have to. Just, you have to. All right, we don't have to jump for these ones. Don't do anything. Oh, what about that one though? That one. All right. How do, you, how do you get that? You probably go how down. Do you get, oh, there's a secret area down there. Don't you want to get it? No! What the god <laughs> do Kill the fucker. Butcher this fucker! Fuckhead! I'm gonna put down a fucking healing thing. Because I am. We are both despicably low on health. Alright, get the donut, get the donut, get the donut, get the donut, get the donut. Matcha. Wait, what about the- Matcha donuts. No. Ooh. We can get a lot of donuts, give, we get a lot of the coffee coins. and donuts, now! <laughs> Immediately saved. You haven't saved at all. Yeah, coffee and donuts. All the more recent. There's someone there! I'm so hungry! I can't see a thing! He's alive! So you're hungry, huh? Here's some coffee and donuts. Please help yourself. I'm about to hit you with this fucking baseball bat. Why? Why won't you let me reach game over? My work is done. I want to die. The world is nothing but weak, unworthy enemies. The heated, exhausted battles of today's long past. Oh, no more! The bitterness and the sweetness! It's delicious! Something happened. Coffee and down to like his life source. He has exacted his revenge, lost all worthy opponents. Nothing left in this world, he attempted to take his own life. Did I do something wrong? No. No. There's nothing wrong here in this world. Now we can finally proceed. There's a heavy door in the lobby. It should be open now. Let's go. The time for peace and quiet is over. Let's go. When was there peace and quiet? Indeed. I'm gonna kill you. This really was anything but peace and quiet. Quickly, so we can save. I'm gonna shit. Cause like if we. I'll be the one to shit. If, if by some if by some fucking strike of of strike of fucking genius, we just manage to eat shit on this boss super hard. Like we have to do that entire boss that thing over again if we don't save. Thank God. <laughs> the shit. All right, let's do it. Coffer and Durnitz. I think my favorite sound effect is the golf clap. I love the golf clap so much. Hmm. Travis just like smacked Badman's ass right there. <laughs> With the sword, yeah. Seek what? medical attention. That fucked me up. Why is there another one? Now he has too much coffee and donuts. He's unstoppable. WHO ARE YOU?! I'm Travis Touchdown. I'm an assassin who somehow found my way Man, that- That art doesn't actually look like- mm -hmm. Have you come to kill me?! Possibly. Whether you live or die depends on you. Why have I returned?! Did you do this?! Well, yeah. Wait, should I stop using the old man voice? I mean, he's like, I don't know. Go, go with the voice. He's literally an old man, they said. He's 70. He's in a I robot. I know, but he's been resurrected, so I wonder if he actually oh. aged down. No, he's still I don't he's, think so. He's still seven. Okay. He was old when he, he was old in the original cutscene. He's old. He's just in a robot now. You can do a different old man voice if you want. No, I got it. I'll do it. I was just well, wondering yeah. if he was actually aged down. I guess I did. Why? I was seeking death! I am tired! Now I just want to die! So I made it look like a murder! 
I let everything out so fairly! Well, that murder was solved. By whom? By me. You should have just left it alone! You goddamn fool! Hey now, I just saved your life and you're calling me a goddamn fool? You worthless little punk! This old bastard is already far too. is far too. It's already far too. G Dry your sword! I'll put you down like a dog! Bring it on, Gramps. I'll kill the shit out of you! Die, Tokyo Mugen Saibaku! Dad, it's showtime! Wood suit! Onward! This one's called, this this is this is called kill your artificial mind the track I'm in. What the f wow, okay. We're on a sky fortress. Yeah, but like thing in the background. Yeah, the giant head. Oh my fucking god, did we Are you yeah game? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah You're supposed to shake. Alright, I'm using my Xbox controller. I don't think it has a gyro in this. Have you tried though? Joshi? Oh wait, I'm right here. I got confused. Alright, whoops. <laughs> oh, I picked a really bad time to activate a cutscene. Oh, there we go. We gotta move, we gotta move, 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 And he's dead. Oh, the explosion does damage. Are we still alive? <laughs> Alright, you got the finisher. <laughs> Mate, that's it. Yeah. That's Damn. it. It's a good song, though. You did it, Joshy. I yeah. took the least you amount of damage. Did. You did a great jerb. Oh, my jerb wasn't taken. Nah, nah, nah. You went easy on me, punk. The hell I did. I just didn't feel like slicing down such a desperate opponent is all. You've got good eyes, boy. Dangerous, but good. I'm no Gandam pilot or whatever. Bruh. That was fun. I led a good life. Goodbye, punk. You're crazy, man. A flower for Brian Buster. I read that as a, I read that as a white man. Noir? A man lives constantly seeking the moment his petals drop, Travis. When your time comes, be sure to look your killer in the eye. Yeah, okay. Look your killer in the eye when he finishes. Oh, well, I'm looking alright. Or right. else. And we got a chip, baby! Another Nintendo Switch cartridge! <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, and people said I was wrong last time. Strike now, freedom chip! Now put your tongue on it, Travis. See if it tastes bad. 
Wait, why did why did I say it last time and everyone said I was wrong? I don't know. Did you say I that think you're thing? correct entirely, and I, anyone who says otherwise was definitely wrong. Are then. you sure you're not hallucinating, Joshi? No. <laughs> I, I can't believe he's just gaslighting in the chat. Wow. I have no memory of us commenting on it looking like a Switch character. Da 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 da. Man, I fucking hate it. Brian Buster Jr. sought out death. Seeing him struggle to search for a place to die was pitiful. So why didn't he choose suicide? The fear of death? That's not it. He had no right to die by his own hand. I feel like he realized that dying like a dog was the only way for him to atone. Could I live like he did? Nope. That old dude was a real man. It was a real man. Whatever anyone, whatever, whatever, whatever anyone else may say, he really was a real man. Rest in peace. Rest in pizza. Rest Single in A peace. video game. Da -da -da -da. I mean, like this is designed to be an indie game, Randy. This is <laughs> Travis is like there's literally Travis's model sitting in a room that is not modeled at all and just text on the screen yeah that was probably deliberate <laughs> he's not moving i mean what do you mean deliberate yes they didn't do anything <laughs> i'm on chewing travis wait what's the issue it's just it's so this game is so i don't know how to say it yeah no like that yeah that was intentional well, what do you mean intentional? This was a game test made, game to they, see if they make No More Heroes 3. It was made mm. under the constraints of having a low budget, and mm. they wanted to get started. But, like, they didn't... They didn't, like... There are ways to do things low budget that don't make, like... Just, then don't show how low budget you are. I don't have a problem with it, personally. Mm -hmm. What do we do, Travis? That adjusting again? Yeah, let's do it. The Travis Strikes Back Digest. Do you believe in urban legends? Me? I love them. I'll read any book with urban legends in the title. Now for the segue. I got word from Kamui. <laughs> Count Dracula is not only both real and alive, but he's a death ball collector too. <laughs> Soft what? Romania. Banjo Teeth's over there now. Has Dracula been brought up at all? I'm gonna kill you! No. But asking if anyone's seen Dracula is... Well, people just think I'm a tweaker and ignore me. I can't find him with just this weak-ass info I have, either. I wandered around aimlessly and... Uh, and checked out, checked on this beer hall. A horse with a chip on his shoulder came up to me. What's this now? His eyes are all... Wait! Oh my god! Is that the horse from Killer is Dead? Maybe... <laughs> okay, this is definitely a guy who knows where Dracula is. Awesome. I decided to trust those sparkly eyes. His name was... Killer's Dead Epona. had the vampire... Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> Let's go, Epona. <laughs> Take me to Dracula's castle. Epona guided Is me to legal? find all sorts of castle. Castle, we didn't find shit. So I figured I might as well try a fortune teller. What a sketchy-ass shop. I picked one from the gaggle of fortune tellers in the underground mall. That Sundance shot. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Uh, who, who did did AC voice Sundance? Yes, I think AC yep. was Sundance, but I ended up voicing him because he was gone for the final episode of FSR. Yeah, you can voice you can voice Sundance. A big guy with long hair. This dude is huge. This guy must be like seven feet tall, and his name is Sundance. Sketchy ass name to boot. Sundance grabs some fresh coffee and spills it all over some paper. The coffee stain spreads on its on the paper. Sundance reads the stains. To Balbonia Castle. It says the Count is in that castle. Jean and I get an opponent and head towards the castle. Apparently Epona and Jean don't get along so well. They fought the whole damn way. Anyway, we get to the castle, but... As soon as we get here, Jean just bolts straight into the scary-ass horror movie-style castle. I'm wandering around inside looking for Jean. This place is probably haunted. I follow Jean into the Great Hall. Always breaking my balls, man. Hey now, there he is. Count Dracula, down on the floor. Something's up here. A guy with a katana is trying to slice the cat's head off. Oh. This, this dude is fucked up. I can't well. abide by my target getting jacked like that. 
This dude is also determined. He comes flying at me. This could get crazy. Come on, bring it! But then, he slices the Count's head clean fucking off. Sticks a hand into the Count's brain and pulls out a death ball. He throws it at me. Well, who's gonna voice? Mondo's don't think about Zappa? it. I don't know, I mean, like, I fucking... I mean, like, uh, if anybody's gonna do a good enough Patrick Seitz voice, I guess it's me. I don't know. Mm. This is what you're looking for, right? I've got no beef with you. Take it, shut up, and leave. Go now, and I'll let you live. My name is Mondo Zappa. I'm with the Federal Mimetic Assassins this administration. This doppelganger was a finely crafted fake. The real one is still out there somewhere. Tracking him down is our job. Dracula acquired tolerance to lie in a quid pro quo with the Reaper. He became doppelganger, able to live in sunlight. That's all, no questions. I'm done here. I'm off to find the real doppelganger. They say he's in Central America. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. I love him said Captain down. America. Do we know this guy? Is yeah, that's Mondo know? Zappa from Killer is Dead. Mm -hmm. I forget. They did, we didn't Killer's do Death. Killer is Dead. Yeah, not don't not to be confused oh, with Killer Seven. Killer Seven yeah. Or Killer yeah. is Dead, the, the short story that takes place in the Killer Seven timeline that features <laughs> that, that features Shigeki Birkin, aka Batman. He just ran his mouth and disappeared. Mondo, he's pretty good. So there are still a few out there. Whatever, I got what I came for. I'll have Bishop appraise it. But I. That Bishop was dead. Let's get. Oh no, this is uh, this is brother Bishop. This is his brother, also named. Bishop. It's Bishop's brother, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Gene. Uh, Let's punch it. Bishop is the last name. I let him catch you. Like hell, I'm approaching vanishing points. Oh, this is Golden Dragon GP. Okay. You're here too. <laughs> 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 Time to take a shit. Travis, I want to brush my teeth. Hurry up. Get off me, man. I'm stalking here. Yeah, that's gross. Actually, wait a second. Wait, what the fuck? Let's go buy some t shirts. Number one, we can spell the fucking we can spell the fucking ass uh, Aztec coins. Uh, let's see. Uh, get a minute. Get a ruiner. Hot full boyfriend. Uh, crossing souls. Reigns. The swords of Ditto. And then Piku Niku. There we go. Here, I'll get all the fucking cheap ass shirts really quickly. Legend of Sword! There we go. Uh, yeah. then... God, Bit Trip Super Runner, hot. that takes me back. Fucking Christ. Alright. Did you know, Undertale actually came out 73 years ago. I knew that. Did you know that 1998 was 25,000 years kingdom, ago? Here we come. God, it hurts me that, like, Five Nights at Freddy's, I think, is was eight years ago but when it, it came out. Yo, why is there not a FNAF t-shirt? <laughs> Honestly, why is there not Five a Nights at Freddy's Travelers! Death Travelers! Five Nights at Freddy's! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's Tron. Oh boy, I'm sure this will play, will, will play perfectly well with how this game was designed to work. And not try to do something else completely that will crumble on its own weight. <laughs> Mm, I mm. <laughs> being honest.
How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Gold Dragon GP. Yakuza. Where am I? <laughs> so fun fact, you're not going to be here for a good chunk of this one. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, but that's how this one's designed. And what's the what's the, what a tiny room. Where the where the hell is this? Is this Japan? Since before, this is like uh, Leiji Matsumoto's manga, Otoko Oidan. Rest in peace, Matsumoto. The very Yojohan, where the gods are said to live. Holy shit, this is awesome! Uh, Bugstra. Is that me? Oh yeah, yeah, I did it, yeah. Uh, Grandpa's World's Wisdom. The word of your hobbit, Steve. Time flows backwards. It takes time to get used to it. Rely on me if you're in trouble. I'm good at navigating. I could help you out. I was trying to match that, like, speech that he was doing. Who wants the voice Smoking King? I've already smoked enough. I love it. It says question mark question. It's question, question, question mark, but his name's just written in the bottom left. I'm not gonna play a catchphrase. Can you make it to the pinnacle of the rev race and turn one? The road is long and hard, so you must win the visitor cup. No, else is long hard. God, you sound like you're dying. I am surprisingly not. Grandpa's world's wisdom. The latest VR machine is on the table. The world of Golden Dragon GP awaits. Dive in! Yo, play, let's play some Sword and Sorcery. I just want to appreciate this fucking theme. I love it. It's called Cold Rice. It's really good. Wait, no, Blade and Sorcery. It's called Cold Rice? No, co no Cold Rice. Cold oh. Rice. I see. Is this VR? The hell is this? Another one of Juvenile's Traps? Well, as a gamer, I can't just sit here and NOT play this new VR game right in front of my eyes. Looks fun. Let's do it! A game inside a game. Oh, allow me to explain the race. It's as simple a monkey could pick this up. Use the button to accelerate, no steering, just make it to the goal first, understand? Next up, I'll to shift gears. Do the same as a manual transmission in a car, just shift gears. Up and down while holding the clutch. Wait until Mr. P is blue to shift gears, otherwise you will lose speed. Be careful of the timing. Nitro can only be used once during a race, when it really counts. Use it for an ultra speed up, like a real stairway to heaven. Get a timing right and you can really turn the whole race around. This is just swoop races. Oh, I miss out on the fucking racing mechanic shit, dog. Oh hey, they brought the- they brought the- <laughs> Yeah, you're red light, you, you gotta you... shift gear. Do you, do you need to shift up when shift. it's blue? Yeah, I know. Okay. I don't like how they call it Mr. P. <laughs> it's, uh... Isn't that thing in... in No More Heroes 2? Uh-huh. Oh, here, I gotta try that again. Forgot the Nitro. Well, no, I just didn't write Nitro at the right time is the problem. Ah. Also, I didn't nitro know you can go not over... Throw. Why'd the shift box change? Ah, oh, fuck. 
Oh, wait, never mind. These mechanics look like they fucking suck. I'm glad I don't have to play this. <laughs> you have to actually pop the clutch. It would be cool if, it, if you were playing a Tron game in this game. Did it! You did it. Man, that Tron bike game is cool. It's just competitive snake. Yeah, it's cool. Smoking gun. Go ahead. Huh? Huh? Oh shit, I... What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and get over here. I'm waiting for you. I'm always watching. Don't let your guard down. Each and every battle counts. Holy shit. Grandpa's Worlds of Wisdom. Do you know the name of the VR machine? It's a death drive VR unit that the G2 final race awaits. Dive in! More like shit in. <laughs> shit in the toilet. Time to take a shit. I have my own personal bathroom! Take a shit in now! You don't see it! I must have the fattest of shits! Next up is the G2 final. Time to kick some real ass. Uh, it starts with Whoa! Why did you play that one? Probably he had a thing. probably had a bad label. It just it says, says it starts. The... I thought I was gonna feed that sound effect from the Lion King. What? That was my guess. No. You what? can preview it by clicking the, there, the, the speaker, speaker button. button. They'll let you preview it. Okay, thank you for the tip. The soundboard is a dangerous tool. I would highly recommend selecting favorites. It makes mm -hmm. it a lot easier to avoid the copyright one. So yeah, you're not supposed Might to be, win. Uh, you're not supposed to be being a dumbass, one. but don't don't you need like thirty seconds of copyrighted audio to get struck? You see that? I'm not uh... Really? It's that hard? Wait. Okay, what's the I count? believe you. What's the count? You lost. When it requires strategy, first you have to pimp out your bike. Try powering up your gearbox. The wiki says that it's on the 8th floor of Dragon Tower. First come, first serve. Hurry up! Oh, and the undead monsters in Dragon Tower are hungry for your blood. Get them rid of them. Work! Okay. Work it, baby. Grandpa's worth work. Still. Power up with the G2 final race. Get a new gearbox and tweak your death machine. It's said that the 8th floor of Dragon Tower. Choose your mission at the entrance. Uh, what was that last? Find it or whatever? Find it. Every world has power up items to be found. We're going on a treasure hunt. All right, now you get to play the game, Josh. Oh, holy shit. I was about to go get some chips. You want to get your <laughs> chips still? I can just pause for a second. No, it's fine. Let's keep going. Why is there a fart gas outside the walls? Because they didn't want to. They didn't want to make an entire additional environment. That or it's a stylistic choice. So don't mind. I want all this fart gas outside. That's not fart. It's it's steam from the steamed <laughs> hams we're having. Are you farting on my steamed hams? You think Suda Fifty One watches The Simpsons? The Simpsons? The Perchance. Simpsons. <laughs> Do you think he has like a Bart T-shirt? I don't know, man. He should. Probably Bart. If, and if he gang doesn't, I'll. I'll the Suda Fifty One. I know you're not cheap. watching, but I'll buy you a Bart Simpson T-shirt if you want it. Just send him one. It's fine. Just send it. Just send it straight to Grasshopper Manufacturing. He'll, yeah, he'll it's, just just, just a Bart Simpson T-shirt, and it just says for Suda Fifty One, well, and it's like, with dear Suda, I've been playing your video games. Uh, uh here's here's a T-shirt. I love you. Enjoy. <laughs> 
Here's a t-shirt with with Bart. He has bling oh, on. Wait. He has a bandana around his head. Here's SpongeBob SquarePants smoking a blunt. <laughs> I got you this Gangsta Tweety Bird shirt because I know you'd appreciate it the most. I love the Gangsta Looney Tunes world. Oh yeah, I saw a sign that made me vaguely want to see the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Apparently Jim Henson, or the Henson Company, excuse me, uh, made the animatronics. Yeah. It's like, dang, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I need to jerk off a little bit more. Yeah, my God, Only a nice little? I, I sent you to the fart dimension! The fart dimension? Yeah, look outside. He flew outside. That's where, all, that's where all that fart gas is coming from. A new chip. Wait, hold on. It's coins. Scal chap. I D K. What it does. I D C. Dragon Ball Z. Gearbox it's Zeta. Z. It's Gearbox Zeta. Gearbox Z. Zeto. Alright, Josh, you can go get your chips now. <laughs> What's this? Gearbox Z? You guys supposed to stick this on the VR thing, then. Grab Buzzword's wisdom. And access to Death Drive VR. If the Gearbox Z chip is auto equipped, the G2 final race will be awesome. Dive in! Awesome! Gearbox Z equipped to VR! No time to be on the phone. Time to do this right! Have you guys played around with VR a lot? A little bit. Yes. Yeah, I mean. I, I have done Only the virtual VR. boy. The problem with have those things is I literally one? cannot do it for more than an hour before my head starts to hurt. Uh, maybe it's the headset, because I know that, like, the Oculus Quest 1 gave me a headache after a while, but that's just because it was a heavy brick on me. The I'm just waiting until it's that. a pair of sunglasses at this point. I've tried, like, three of those headsets, uh, and they all make my head hurt. Uh, have you tried Google Glass? I have not. I, you know, sometimes I'm tempted. Like, that way you watch YouTube, right? On it. Yeah, you can watch VR videos on it. I, I don't think you can watch VR videos on a Google Glass. Yeah, I gotta try that out. Oh, again. Google Glass, I don't know. Yes. Yes. Like, I kind of like the idea of having, like, a Dragon Ball Scouter thing you can watch YouTube on. Oh, like, Google Ass. Also, apparently that's, like, the Google Glass is just, like, proprietary software of the fucking military now. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like how the Connect technology was repurposed for medical technology. Yeah, now if you go to the hospital and you stand up and say McDonald's, they will give you a hamburger. They're required to by law. Wait, is this a reference to something? Is this a thing that happened? Yeah, it's from Connect. If you stand, if mm -hmm. it's the original setup, if you stand up and say <laughs> McDonald's with your arms in the air, you'll be able to summon some. <laughs> uh, right from your home. Yes, and I think you are redlining <laughs> a little too long. I think that's why. He's, he's on the red line. <laughs> yeah, I used to hang out with my dad in his manual, and he just loved to redline. He would just do that all the time. And I'm like, you're wrecking your car. But he's like, no, I'm not. And if I wreck it, I know how to fix it. I'm going to wreck it. 
Well, yeah, he never did wreck it. Wait, what is redlining? Redlining is when you're in a manual and uh, you're you need to shift gears up because it's the way shifting it, gear, yeah. You get less torque, but you get more speed. There we go. I did it. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This is actually uh, the this was actually an idea from the PlayStation Move. Hmm. Oh, I had one of those. They're patented plans. No, I'm thinking of iToy. No, I had a move too. I, I had that shit. How's this cool. going? Alright, a good time. Last stop at the J1 semi-final. Win this for the chance to challenge the eternal champion, Smoky King. I'll be looking forward to it. Okay. Do you mean AF? Can I, like... Okay, next mission. All right, good. <laughs> Cause like, yeah, no, you can't fucking beat the next one until you get the next part. And good thing you're back too, so we can go do it now. So what kind of chips are you eating, Jashi? Uh, pointer tiller chips. Also here, let's level up. Really Not even salt. Those are pretty bomb, I mean, but me. uh, I'm partial to uh, popcorn or white cheddar. Those things are bomb as fuck. <laughs> They're, they are literally plain ass tortilla chips. Tortilla. It's tortilla. Uh, tortilla. I, Let's put I some parm on that. Hurricane Sucker bug! Oh wow. You need to be sure. stopped! Um, Alright, this like... is this is exceedingly deliberate. They're named after like technology people. I thought that wasn't already that that with not already obvious. or whatever. I mean like I don't know. Like Spielbug and, and uh, Bug Gates or whatever the hell that one was called it kind of sealed that for me. Alright, Zuckerbug destroyed and we're going in the left path. Well actually, is Spielberg like a tech guy? Yeah, he's, he's a film man. Guy. No, it's probably just random celebrities that Suda had on his mind. Just various puns that he could think of with the word bug. Is it like video game evil? Because Spielberg has done some video games. Mm. Wait, which which Spielberg video games were there? Uh, I forget. The only one I remember was Boom Blocks for Wii, but I know that I'm pretty sure there were others. Yeah, uh, Zuckerberg, known video game developer. Oh yeah, he worked on Medal of Honor. Adventures of Tin Tin. Oh, let's take a coin. Trespasser, someone with dinosaurs. Oh, AVGN did an entire thing about Spielberg games in 2012. Oh, wow. You still like AVGN? Yeah, that's uh, cool. I, I mean, I, I just feel like everything for like the past, I don't know, three years has been crap. There's I, been a, I, there's been a few hits, but a lot of it is really bad. It's like I, I used know. to really look forward to AVGN. His humor doesn't really hit me that much nowadays. You know, the old stuff still hits me great when I go back to it. It's like the new stuff. It feels like corporate. I don't know. Corporate? I just appreciate having him around. Not to mention, I guess, it's a bit difficult to make like, the same high quality content now that he has like a kid I, and a family and I shit. I think it's just yeah, probably no. more laid back, probably less energetic. He's getting older. Mm -hmm. He's that's less fair. angry. That's fair. I just think that he should retire it instead of just letting it. Well, he might drag enjoy on. it. Yeah, I mean, I still, he still probably likes it. It probably it. also makes him money. He's Tom still Walker, the money. Yeah. 41 years old, Christ. It's merchandising. Also, I'm pretty sure that AVGN is like one of the only like big old East Lips that's actually pretty poor. So he probably has to do it, unfortunately. I, I, I'm not gonna I don't know. He seems like he's doing pretty all right for himself. Life. He has like an entire like I do man not know cave that he has is. designed to be like a movie theater, like a movie like rental store. Oh yeah, I remember that. That shit's cool. I'm not gonna start commenting on the life of AVGN. I'm gonna leave mm. that guy alone. Yeah, that's fine. Now Mike Matei, on the other hand, I've heard yeah, that thing. Motherfucker Mike. A scourge upon humanity. Also, oh, yeah. Doug, Walker. Doug Walker's also a bastard. <gasps> he is funny though. He's a, he's a funny bastard. 
Apparently, AVGN is 42 years old, James Rolfe himself, and Doug Walker is 41. God damn. You are getting older. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I saw a, like a clip of Pat recently, and it's weird seeing him with gray hair. I don't like it. It is so man, jarring to like, him watch holding the a baby. old podcast clips, so and he's up. like so fucking fat, and he's changed his life, and I'm really happy for him. I, I, um, what was it? Whoops. I say as I have also... Uh, on the topic of Doug Walker and uh, AVGN, something that's gonna sound insane, but you know the phrase, love wins? Sure. Uh, no. The first time I ever heard it was a meme, someone saying love wins, and it looks like Doug Walker and AVGN kissing. Okay. This is not an edited photo, it is simply Doug Walker and AVGN at a panel. Yeah. And they're just kissing, and Josh. Well, no, they're not actually photo. kissing. He Hold just on. keeps the photo by his bedside whenever he needs some emotional support. I mean, they were in that Hell yeah, brother. Together. Whatever floats your boat. What? No. What? Wait, did I say something wrong? No, you're allowed to float boats, Joshy. That's fine. That's. I'm not floating that way. Well, are you saying it's a sunken ship? I'm not floating that way. Tell me why. <laughs> oh, hey, here's, here's the shit. <laughs> Perfect. Immaculate. Video game. I believe this generic. is uh, noir generic shit. Man. Uh, no, Pete, generic I'm shit, not man. generic ones. Oh, oh, wait, I'm generic. Wait, I'm the specific sheep man. Wait, who's generic? Am I generic? You're generic. Man? Oh shit, I forgot what voice Nail I used it. from. Oh, you were just using it. Oily. Was I just using it? Y you were, yes. Very commonly. I forget what- I'll just do a, a random voice. Who are you? A smoking king puppet- Oh, right now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> just a passing assassin. Bad luck for just a passerby. Enough bullshit. Passing. Let's do this. It's your fourth, fourth child, punk. You know what makes a mid boss really terrifying? Color swapping, die! What a big mouth sheep. Let's oh, rock. Oh, it's color swapping, pause, die. All right. Big yeah. mouth the show. Whoa! Really big mouth bass. Watch me jerk off. Just to get, get, them... get in the healing zone. I think them calling him Yellow Sheep Man and then Generic Sheep Man fucked me up on remembering him. Yeah, but it was exactly the same way with Purple Sheep Man. I know, I just didn't notice that one was Purple Sheep Man. I'm actually only now noticing whatever you Josh, said. Josh, use your special! Use your special, Josh! Fuck you! Fuck you! He's special. Special. What? Oh, I just want to. This one's actually here. kind of difficult. Oh, never mind. We got him. Wait, what? <laughs> just saw that. Double Zeta. It's double Zeta. It double kicks Zeta. me out double when Zeta. I press the button. <laughs> what do you mean? I picked it up. That was me. This is my video game. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> then this really is the I'm here to game. Score. Gearbox ZZ. Stick it in the VR thing and I should be able to beat the next stage. Racing Kingdom, here we come. <gasps> Next up is the G1 semi-final. I'm gonna hit that nitro like a boss. <laughs> like a boss. Oh Shut God. up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, the Lonely Island people are probably in their 40s you too. Know, you missed that? Stop! Fucking stop! <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck is that shift box? <laughs> Yo, that's rad. Look at this Final Fantasy logo. It's a Final Fantasy logo on the chief box.
What? Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm kind of fucked. Cool, I'm gonna get more chips. Okay, yeah, yeah, go get more chips. I should keep doing this until I get it right. <laughs> Now, Joshy, what would you say is your favorite puzzle game? He's going to get chips. <laughs> I thought he already got the chips. He's getting more chips. He is just collecting chips at a rate of knots. God, um, I'm just, I, I really hate that right now, the mentioning of chips, it just reminded me of yesterday. Where I got really Yesterday. high and started vomiting not the tortillas I ate. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, now man, all of his troubles seem so far. How the fuck do you beat this clown? Have you tried Chase... shifting gears? I did! Chase it tasted the same going out that it did coming in, at least. It didn't taste that bad. Maybe I need to, like, fucking hit, hit the gritty really quickly? I don't know. For the Ukraine. <laughs> I'm currently hitting the gritty, Ukraine. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, on the Ukraine subreddit, oh, they shit. actually have a bot that that will correct people if they say the Ukraine instead of just Ukraine. Yes, it is not. It is not commonly called the Ukraine. A lot of people call it that. I'm not entirely sure why either. Even Justin did, like on the announcement of the big event, called it the Ukraine. It's not yeah. the Gambia. Jeez, oof. So cringe, Justin. Well, the thing is, the Jason. Philippines is called the Philippines. I don't know what the fuck I did. Well, I mean, it's the Phil. Well, well, that's a them thing. It is the Republic of the Philippines. What I'm curious if there's a meaning to a plural, like a singular Philippine. Why is it more? Mm, I don't believe. Is a Philippine the name of an island? Uh, no, they're all- I believe that they are the Philippine Islands, uh, because they were named after, like, Prince Philip. Hey, Justin, how many gears do you have? Do you know? Five. I have five gears. Well, you only have five. Them. Okay. Just like Straw Hat Luffy. Let me just fucking <laughs> check. For now. No, Is there's no- actually... there's no other work I can do. Was it actually named after Prince Philip? Uh, yes, but not the Prince Philip you think. It was Prince Philip II of Asturias, which is a part of Spain. Uh, I figured Spain. A Las Islas Filipinas. A lot of, uh, whenever I was listening to this one World War uh, II book about Japan, I noticed that there were, like, a lot of Spanish names whenever they were talking about the Philippines. Thought... Uh, the Philippines are a very much combination of Spanish and uh, Asian heritages and cultures, yes. Like, I think there was, like, a Philippine guy named Enrico. Uh, probably. Probably a significant amount, yes. Have you hit the nitro? Yeah, I hit nitro, right? I'm gonna hit the fifth gear. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Yowza. Maybe you need a better gear. I can't, there's no more cleaner work. Don't make him say it again. He's a cleaner. I forgot the guy who, the, the evil president of the Philippines is nicknamed Bong Bong. <laughs> I don't entirely know why. He's probably more sinister in the in the like. Well, actually, unless that's just a that's not a nickname. It, it's because when he smacks people's heads into the roadside, it makes a bong sound. I'm kidding. I have absolutely no idea. But it's Are you probably about the current not president good. or a prior president. This is, well, it, well, he is the current president. The prior president was his father and was also horrible. Yeah, I believe oh that was God. the guy that had like the huge palace while everybody was starving or something like that in poverty.
Bing. You see, we should we should elect Bing Bong Marcos from New York. Oh, it's because I'm letting I'm letting go of the fucking accelerator. No more. I did not realize you posted that goodness in chat. I don't know where else you think I would have posted it. Anyway, well, I didn't even know you were you would post it. I eat spicy goodness like a ball. Oh, it's mm -hmm. from that ad. Oh my god! Fucking, I swear to god, marketing places when they see memes. Oh, do we mean good enough, daddy? Bong bong apparently means a hollow piece of bamboo with thin sides used for weaving, but not suited for construction. I'm gonna say the wildest shit during this section, because you know people are just gonna skip it. I think we are saying very insightful stuff. We're bringing attention to the Philippines. Let's see. The other name I just saw might be implying that it means like soon to Ray. Hmm. Bro. <laughs> oh, I see how this works. Okay, I think I got it now. Ah, fuck. Just restart. Restart the fucking race. <laughs> yeah, just do that instead of... You know. Congrats. Wow. Alright, final race. And one more dungeon beat. Smoking King. Go ahead, Bob. Shit. How do you know it's Smoking King? We don't know who it is. Tra Travis, get to the hmm. fucking fourth floor gearbox. I'll be waiting at the finals. I fight! Look! Warrior male. A young Bong Bong Marcos and his sister Imi played a small role in the controversial Manila incident. This hack and slash map is pretty simple, but I guess you get used to it. Let's kick some more ass. Yeah, let me go take a fucking Six months quickly. after their father assumed the presidency, nine year old Bong Bong and Imi were along among 400 children whom their mother Imelda brought to. Malacanang Palace for a reception in which they expected the Beatles. The four members of the Beatles claimed to not know about the event and refused to attend. As the event went on without them, the Marcos children were interviewed. Bong Bong, referring to their long hair, was quoted saying, I'd like to pounce on the Beatles and cut off their hair. Don't Pounces on me you? for me to do anything, because I'll do it just to see how game the oh, Beatles are. Damn, dude, chill out. I took the Beatles. They were later chased out of Manila uh, at Manila International Airport. George Harrison was later accused of, uh, accused the Marcoses of inciting Filipinos to mob the band as they tried to leave the country for not showing up to their reception, and later claimed in 1986 in an interview with the Today Show that they tried to kill him. 
Harrison further said that their plane was not allowed to leave Manila until their manager, Brian Epstein, refunded the concert ticket money. I believe he is unrelated to that other one. It is a common last name. Yeah, I actually saw, like, it made me do a double take. Like, I was uh, substitute teacher-ing, and I saw on the roster a kid called Jeffrey FC, and I was like, holy shit. Oh, no, that's a G? No, it was a J. Oh, I'm very... They, these, these parents need to get something. Like, that's like... You gotta, like, write them a note, be like, hey, hey... That kid's getting bullied. You gotta do something about this. You, you might want to change, you might wanna change your kid's you, name. You, you might want to well, change your 12-year-old kid's going name. going by your middle name at that he point. He was 12 like, years old. He was in some grade. I don't think we can say more about this person. Other than you start using that middle name, kid. Oof. Mm -hmm. He probably goes by his no. name. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm take it back. It. I'm gonna make my name great. I'm gonna make people love the name. Yeah, he's, he's like, I'm gonna make my name great again. I'm God. gonna be real. I think at that, I feel like the, I feel like the last name Epstein is kind of tainted at this, this point. This kid is going to cure cancer, and everybody's gonna love Epstein. Actually, it sounds like this Epstein's pretty cool. Uh, he was arrested in 1957 uh, for soliciting sex from an undercover police officer, which sounds bad until you realize the answer is, you know, because it was illegal to be gay. Because the uh... 50s. Uh... So he seems like, he, well, that and, you know, he's the manager of the Beatles, so, I mean, that's pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. This is a guy who's made it through a lot. Seen a lot. Seen a lot of times where a bunch of, where a bunch of fruity British men got high, and it worked out perfectly. <laughs> was it the Beatles where there was a long. there was a story about one of the bandmates like in a room with a, their bunch of other ones, and they're like, "Hey, you should have sex with this girl underneath the blanket in front of us." I don't know, but that sounds like the kind of shit John Lennon would get up to. Like, they just had, like, him and Yoko would just do weird art shit. Like, we're gonna have sex in a bed in the middle of the road. Yeah, because we did a song that was called We Should Do It in the... It's like, yeah, it's like a thing. Do you think they have, and like, nobody a... nobody thought it was funny. Never... Exhibition fetish? Never, never, never ask about that song that... That John, I just asked about that song that John Lennon made about women and what they are. <laughs> uh, that being said, all some of my favorite things about the Beatles will be one, um, how notoriously difficult it was to record Maxwell's Silver Hammer. Um, so there's just one, there's just one fucking cover of it where John was in the bathroom and they just like made the funniest possible version of Maxwell's Silver Hammer. <laughs> Oh, there! If you listen to the one that made it on the album, you can still hear Paul McCartney snickering because John Lennon hated this song so much, calling it old grandpa music, that he was making faces at Paul to specifically ruin takes. And that, and that's like that's regular kind of band shit. But on the other hand, that's like wasting money, legitimately. Oof. Mm -hmm. da -da -da. The other one, of course, was uh, them. Com was John Lennon completely misconstruing what the fuck Hey Jude was about? <laughs> Epstein, uh, Brian Epstein, added his name to an advertisement that appeared in the Times in 1967, calling for the legalization of cannabis, release of all prisoners imprisoned because of possession of cannabis, and research into medical use of cannabis. You know what? That's pretty based. Yeah, dude's dude's kind of based, actually. Yeah. My opinion is that pot smoking is definitely less harmful than drinking alcohol. I'm not addicted to either, but I've been very drunk and very high. Uh, after, in 1967, Paul McCartney was getting a lot of shit because he admitted he used acid uh, to the media, and he was like, "Yeah, whatever. I've done it too. Don't be a don't be a weak coward, pussy, baby." Not his actual words, mind you. What content is that? 
Lowercase v? Oh, that's turn A. Uh, score! I don't Gearbox, know, maybe. The... Stick in the VR thing to reach new heights of awesome. <laughs> new heights of awesome. All right, let's do this shit, and then we gotta go. F I mean, go. We get. We get to fight Smoking King. I. I uh, victory. I get. I'm just saying. It's really weird that they don't. They don't just call him. The they, they don't just call him Smoking. The pun was right there. Gearbox victory equipped to VR. Time for the final race. Is the champ gonna make his appearance or what? Come on, Smoking King! The Demzan Tiger is screaming to go! <laughs> oh my god. In 1965, the Beatles and Brian Epstein visited Elvis Presley at his house in Perugia Way in Los Angeles, where his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, set up a roulette wheel and several packs of playing cards. Brian Epstein immediately asked to play because everyone knew that he loved gambling. McCartney frequently visited gambling clubs in London, as well as Epstein's favorite club, the Curzon House. Your God, where are you from? Santa Destroy. I've never heard of that team. Team? It's my beloved hometown. You're a tough one. I can sense your bloodlust. You're not from the surface, are you? Bingo. I'm more of an underground guy. So if you're so you're from the hood too, huh? That's right. I worked as a bodyguard for years. I protected the br a brilliant racer, but he died in a racing accident. However, it wasn't an accident. <coughs> no. It was a carefully planned murder. I frantically searched for the killer. Then one day, I finally found him. It was in a humid summer afternoon. Look, is this going to be a long story? Sorry. I get really into stories of the old days. Shall we change the venue? Is that even possible? We're in the middle of a race. I do live inside a game. I understand what it's like inside the hearts and minds of gamers. Everyone's hoping for some action. I assume they're about fed up by now. Since they didn't buy this game for the racing, right? Hmm, you think so? I mean, it's no skin off my ass, but if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it. Alright then, follow me. And then we go fight him for real. Uh, Colonel Tom Parker claimed he once saw Epstein put a Dunhill lighter worth uh, around 2,100 pounds on the table and lose it playing Baccarat. Huh. Fuck's true. She go ahead, Shelly. Oh, Shelly there? Shelly boy. How's it going, Shelly? I think we lost Shelly. Grandpa's Shelley. words of wisdom. If you're going to the bathroom, the champion awaits on top of the floor on the top floor of the Dragon Tower. Hurry to the entrance. Time for a boss fight. Suke on my back It's daddy. time for a boss fight. Time to fucking shit. Joshy, are you here too? Yes. Brian Epstein is commonly considered at least one of eight different people that are referred to as the fifth beetle. <laughs> Time to go to the top, baby. Hey, sorry about that. I was just locking up my house. That's okay. Fine. No problem. Oh, Lord, Is this man. one of those legendary public baths? Yeah, it's my own communal bath. Isn't the view amazing? Bitchin' scenery, man. Look, look, I've got the world in my hands. Luxury. Greed and riches have limits. This bath is sort of a farewell to all of that. Nice line reading there. Like a famous quote or something. Listen, racer. Standing on the borderline itself is how you feel the world of true speed. Now, if, if you're not standing on that line, then you're no racer. Just some guy. 
Hold up. I can't fight a racer. Don't misunderstand, tough guy. From here on out, I'm a bodyguard. Who's bodyguard? The champion, Smoking King's bodyguard. Sure, that'll do. Let's go, champ! I guess he is your little pog champ. I feel like at times I'm trying to do a filthy Frank voice. Hmm. Oh fuck! What's that guy doing nowadays? Is he doing like music stuff? He's now? he's a he's Kingdom, a K-pop. Yeah, he's it, uh... being filthy Frank forever because it's bad for his voice and also probably going to get him canceled if he ever brings it up or does it more. In lieu of uh, so he can try and pursue a normal like musical career under the name Joji, which is I believe technically his legal name. That is not true. His name, his legal name, is actually Frank. <laughs> he before he was filthy Frank, he was like, he was interviewed for some random ass TV show with like an accountant and Lisa this Frank or banker. I don't remember. His legal name is George Kusanoki Miller. What? Then why was he? Fr I don't know. Then. I believe, well, I, I will probably repetition, but uh, Joji is oh, essentially right. the Japanese version of George. Like, mm -hmm. like Mr. Oh. Umineko. He yeah. was born in Joji. Osaka. Apparently his father is Canadian and, I mean, his father is Australian and his mother is Japanese. I think the funny thing is I genuinely forgot about Smoking King until No More Heroes 3. He doesn't come back, there's just a gotcha machine where you can get, like, No More Heroes fights characters. And Smoking King happens to be one of the gotcha characters you can get. It doesn't particularly state why he went with the name Filthy Frank. He just describes him as being the anti-vlogger. Wait, uh, stay in the I, there you go. My guess is that it probably just sounded cool. It probably just sounded like a fun, sleazy name. I mean, to be fair, his follow-up character was just called the Pink Guy. Not the, just Pink Guy. But you, you know what I mean, yes. Yeah, I think that he just, uh, I think he just thought, oh, Frank sounds like a good filthy name. Miller's videos had widespread impact, which included starting a viral dance craze known as the Harlem Shake. Top guy! That's some impressive power. You're pretty impressive yourself. Looks like you're the tough guy. But the real battle begins now. Oh. He's throwing Ooh. smoke grenades? So wait, who started Harlem Shake? Uh, Filthy Frank, Frank started Frank. the Harlem Shake. Really? Yeah, it was him. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, the band that wrote the song, uh, the Bauer probably started the Harlem Shake. He made it popular as a big hit dance craze. Because, like, a bunch of people at my high school were, like, all about the Harlem Shake, but I don't think any of them knew who Filthy Frank was. Posers and players. Oof. I think, like, the, like, the dance... Like, the quote-unquote dance was uh, a thing that popularized on Vine, wasn't it? I mean, I, I wouldn't know. I, I, I was not highly invested in the meme or in Filthy Frank at any point in time. Really. What about Vine? Did you like Vine? I, I enjoyed Vines, but mostly Pro ZD, like Griffin McElroy. I, I enjoyed the classical Vines, as we all have. What are they doing the current TikTok and Vine? Because it's the same idea, right? They're more or less kind of the same, yes. TikTok has been the, the, the inheritor of the of the Vine empire. Oh. You win. Awesome. You win. It's a Capcom game. Who are we? We were in a bathhouse. That's, that's like the classic E Honda stage. Also true. This fight kind of sucked, man. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I've lost. What a disappointment. Got a bad guy, champ. You're not built for killing. 
You're a good and honest man. That's why you're respected. I am not a good man. I am full of avarice. Wait, no. Greed and avarice. Usually a boss battle is full of all kinds of unfair tricks and attacks. Your attacks are full of holes. Fight clean and fair and you'll lose. It's the code of the underground. I see. I guess it's time to turn a new leaf. Thank you, tough guy. Hold up, champ. The world is waiting for you. Someday the GD, the GD, G, the GDGP will get a sequel. Until then, you keep being the champ, you know? I'm afraid I've reached my limit. Try racing one more time, then. Said whether or not that's true, it's not like you're running out of time. Travis Touchdown. You've got a way, ways to go as a racer, but you're a true tough guy. Someday when we meet again. Let's ride. I'll go easy on you next time, too. Goodbye, tough guy. Guess he's still got a ways to go. In the world of real men, the realest of men rise up from nothing. I'll be looking forward to watching you two realist of men interlocked in your dance of death once again. Well, many hours. <laughs> Lucky Clover? Mighty K. It's Clover Studios. Priscilla's. Priscilla's? Priscilla's? I'm looking at it. The Phasalis is a fruit, also known as the ground cherry. Travis, I've lost all motivation to yell Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> That's a specific uh, Gundam. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's a show. Gundam Phasalis. It has a big shield. Uh, it is from Star Wars. It was mm -hmm. a strange video game world. It seems I've been living in both the past and the future of Japan for years. The illusion was that I'd been here for three years. Living here inside that game is one possible option. What, else, what sort of life I'd live as a racer? Let's see Smoking King back when he when he was a sumo wrestler. I miss that tiny, crowded room. It's filled with a kind of nostalgia. Dr. Juvenile seems to have been greatly influenced by racing games. I, too, am a huge fan of racing games apart from Japan. Juvie has pretty good tasting games. Oh, um, Matt, the... Gundam that I, like, I was just remembering Pale Rider from Gundam Evolution, and, like, its origin is so fucking weird. It's some obscure Gundam game, and it had a tie-in manga for the game, and that is what Pale Rider is from, if I remember correctly. Hmm. It's like, that's a character Original in Gundam character. Overwatch. Alrighty then, that's this week's adventures in Newton Travis Strikes Again! <laughs> I was here! <laughs> I think we only got we got a, we got a few more left. Unfortunately, the credits are at the end. There's a DLC afterwards too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that should be and, fine. And it's plot relevant. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna it's actually going to set up No More Heroes three. <laughs> but for real this time, it mm -hmm. won't just be a lousy cliffhanger like the last two games. Surely. Wait, did they have cliffhangers? Technically, yeah. kind of, kind of, sort of, yeah. Not really, no. I'm, I'm gonna have a big, intense battle with Henry Cooldown. And then it turns into a painting. I probably shouldn't have done that. I just saved. Let's save again. All right. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. Blah.